The four statues began resonating with one another, emitting an unnatural light in the process. As the light faded, the entire cavern grew deathly quiet. <laughs> the 
The rocks were packed too tightly to be broken with the terror bracelet. Adol was trapped. Hey! Is that you in there, Adol? Are you hurt? Adol shouted back that he was uninjured. Glad to hear my little buddy's okay! That quake caused some of the crevice walls to collapse! I managed to pick my way across, though! But now we gotta do something about these rocks! Adol, I'm gonna need you to step back for a second, okay? Here we go! Yeah! That's what I'm screaming! Walls zero, Dogie the Wall Crusher like... a million! Who needs doors when they got me? That was a new record too, I think. <sighs> Never took down solid rock before. Should get me in the history books. So, looks like you found another statue. Is that all of them? Come on, let's head back to the master's house. Chester, you're here. <laughs> of course. I've been kept well apprised of your actions. Seems you have all four statues now. So, as I said before, I think you'd best give them to me. Chester, there's just one thing I need to know. What are you planning to do with these statues? A mere knight dares not question the motivations of Count Maguire. Though I cannot entirely plead ignorance, as I've heard some rumblings on the nature of his glorious plan. That's not what I asked you. I want to know what you plan to do with him. How long have you known? I knew from the very beginning. I didn't believe for a second that you felt such contempt toward Elena. That's just not you. And I really couldn't see you serving someone as obviously corrupt as Maguire. Not willingly, anyway. So I figure, you've got to have something else up your sleeve. <laughs> your oafish exterior belies your perceptive nature. It always has. Out with it, Chester. What are you really up to? Very well. I suppose this is as good a time as any. What I seek... is revenge. Revenge? You were born in Felgana, so undoubtedly you're familiar with Genos Island, no? I've never told you this before. But that is the land where my sister and I were born. What? W wait a second. I always heard that Genos Island was wiped out by some kind of plague or something. Indeed. We speak of the same place. However, it was not plague, but monsters that brought about the island's ruin. Monsters? Yes. Monsters. With the appearance of human skeletons clad in armor. They appeared out of nowhere, and simply started massacring all the villagers. Our warriors fought back, of course. But the creatures just wouldn't stay dead. We stood no chance. In the end, Elena and I were the sole survivors of the attack. But, but why? Why would monsters suddenly just appear like that? It was no random occurrence. 
and therein lies the rub. McGuire was directly responsible for the massacre. He enlisted the services of a dark sorcerer for the task. My people were the descendants of Genos himself. We were charged with guarding the holy artifacts that had locked away the Demon Lord's power to prevent their misuse. I would assume Maguire simply considered us a threat to his ambitions. And that's how my sister and I were orphaned and came to live with the mayor of Redmont. It's no surprise that Elena's memories of these events have been suppressed, given their extreme, horrific nature. Then... you want revenge on... On Maguire. Yes. He will be destroyed by the very power he so desperately seeks. And he won't be the only one. I intend to see to it that every living creature in Velestine Castle burns in hell. Perhaps then, the wounded, defiled souls of my ancestral people can finally know true justice. At long last, after all these years, their anger and hatred will be appeased and eliminating the parasitic slime who sits on Valestine's throne will benefit the entirety of Felgana as well. Now then, why don't you hand over the statues so this can all fall into place? To be honest, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to react to all of this. I can't pretend to know how you feel. Just hear me out on one thing. Now let's just say that your plan succeeds, and you do get your revenge. What then? Do you think it'll make Elena happy? Hell, will it really even make you happy? <sighs> sure, Maguire might be a horrible man, and he may even deserve what you're planning for. But imagine how Elena would feel, knowing the depths you'd sunk to in the name of vengeance. Do you think she'd be proud of what you accomplished? If you just step back and think about it, I know you'll find some other, less drastic way to deal with Maguire. If I explained everything to the townsfolk, they'd understand. And I bet they'd do what they could to help too. If everyone banded together, we could drive Maguire out of Felgana for good, and send him into exile. You don't have to disgrace yourself over scum like him. So come on. Please, Chester. You have to put a stop to this before it's too late. Come back to town with us. We can all sit down and have a good time. Maybe enjoy one of Elena's home-cooked meals. Look how far I've come, though. Do you honestly believe I can go back now? After all this? No. There's no turning back for me! <laughs> ah! Chester. You stupid son of a bitch. There is still time to save him. If you want him to live, give me the statues. Now! Adol gave the statues to Chester. Excellent. I can use the power of these statues to hurdle all of Valestine Castle into the darkest depths of hell. I hardly need to say it at this point. 
but you may wish to reconsider trying to stop me. Unless, of course, you want to end up like him. believe Chester attacked Dogi. This is all my fault, actually. Twelve years ago, I served as a Valestine Knight. I was there on Genos Island that day. All the Knights were. Our task was to provide backup for McGuire's Sorcerer. In other words, we would man the Sidelines and terminate any villagers who tried to escape. And we did just that. But then I met the Stoddard children. And despite my sworn oath to McGuire, I couldn't bring myself to harm them. I hid them instead, and snuck them away from the carnage. But I knew I couldn't raise them, so I left them with the mayor and shamefully ran away to this godforsaken shack. I spent my days slowly unraveling McGuire's plans and researching the old tales of Genos and Galbalan. Chester never knew of my knighthood, but he was well aware that I'd saved his life, so he and Dogi would often visit. As such, while secretly investigating McGuire, I also took it upon myself to train the two of them in the art of war. Dogi's departure aside, things continued in this manner until just last year. Around the time monsters started appearing all across Felgana, Chester came to see me in quite a panic. The monsters had brought his memories of Genos Island to the surface, and he had no idea how to cope. I told him everything. Every single thing I knew about his past and about my role within it. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I suppose I was looking for some manner of catharsis. All it did was exacerbate Chester's desire for revenge. To be perfectly honest, I haven't the slightest idea what Chester intends to do with the statues. But if he's willing to stab an old friend to get them, then I doubt there's much hope of talking him down. If we let him continue unchecked, the damage he inflicts won't be limited to Valestine Castle, but all of Felgana. Adol, I must ask that you go back to town immediately and tell Mayor Edgar everything that's happened. You needn't worry. I'll take care of Dogi. And once he's back on his feet, I intend to pay the castle a visit. <laughs>